Today, let's talk about Patina. Uh -huh. There's a Nigerian adage that Pringles is Bakery that has graduated from university. Patina is a bookie work on a postgraduate level. My Patina game is not a graduate yet, but you don't enter final year. Welcome to Momo Bespoke. No more shines, Billy. What? I said no more shines. Maybe you didn't hear about it. You've been away a long time. They didn't go up there and tell you. Huh. I don't shine shoes anymore. Relax, will you? Relax, guys. I still shine my own shoes. This is the best before and after that I could get. Well, it's about that time. It's about that time again. The annual general conference of the Nigerian Bar Association is around the corner. So it's about that time that lawyers dress up. About the time that I shine my shoes. Um, basically, this is what I use for um, painting. My airbrush, you wipe your shoes down cleanly. Um, I see a lot of people make a lot of mistakes with their patina work. Like I said, I'm not an expert at patina yet. There are quite a number of good gentlemen on these streets of YouTube who do excellent work with patina. One of them is the elegant Oxford, Pristin Soto, who is the owner of that um, channel, is an excellent guy. He does magic. But like I said, what are the things that I have learned um, and observed by doing it myself? It is that you need to dilute your dyes. Like in my case, I add um, about five parts of alcohol to one part of dye to one part of thinner, hydrocellulose thinner, the same thinner that people who paint cars use that's basically um how i mix my paints how i mix my dyes so um five times the amount of dye sorry five times the amount of what am i even saying i put five parts of alcohol so if i put one drop of dye i will add five drops of alcohol and when i say alcohol i mean um ethanol basically you could use gin whiskey whatever um yeah so five parts of that goes to one part of dye and then you just add one or two drops of tina just to make sure that it flows that's what i mixed up in this case and you find out that each application each time you spray on um it's not so you'd have to actually like build it on for it to have any significant effect so um, one spray doesn't ruin uh, much of what you do so now this is how i build up my gradient i first of all start with you know applying the highlights is it the highlights or the shadows what you may call the shadow so this one which is dark so i darken up the area that i want to add the shadow then I just brush, I raise up the brush and brush in some fades. Um, just a little under the main line. So watch what I do here. After I have added the main line, then I add some fades just beneath that line. So that that way your gradient builds up. And um, you know, it's not just one straight strong line. What you're actually gunning for is a gradient uh you know something that graduates graduates from the darker spots and goes you know um a little bit outwards fading out that way it's a little bit more natural as though it is the um natural patina of the leather as it is being worn you don't want it to look like and it's exactly the same thing that you would have done if you were painting it on with a brush or you were building up the patina with waxes and your polish so it's exactly the same thing that you would have done so you could see that i add in the areas where i want it to be darkest and then i fade in just like a brush don't use this if you have this spray gun don't use it as though it is a gun no 
you are actually mimicking the effect of brushing it's use it pretend as if it is a an extension of your hand and that you are actually applying it as a brush and you probably will have better results um it's something that you will grow into something that the more you do it the better you um, get at it so shining your own shoes is something that every gentleman should um, endeavor to learn how to do now this is the renovator cream i'm not going to use cherry products <laughs> However, any body lotion, don't tell your wife that you stole her body lotion and that that's what you're using as Renovator. But I think that if you know how emulsions work, so if it is good for your skin, it will probably be good for your leather. Of course, um, all of you um, ladies who are doing skincare, don't use your expensive um, creams and lotions and stuff. But you know your general um, lotions should work so the reason i'm applying the lotion to the shoe is because you know those dyes contain alcohol and thinners um, you run the risk that you know it can actually harden up the leather those are harsh chemicals so after you've treated the leather with those harsh chemicals you really want to um, supple up the leather add some moisture back into the leather to get it into a position where it is soft and supple and you know just reintroduce all the moisture that probably may have evaporated with those solvents and as you can see the few drops of caranuba wax that i added to that lotion actually brought out a shine even without me adding any um, wax polishes but i'm still going to add wax polishes and you guys if you've been on my channel for a long time you know that i'm an advocate for using your thumb um, to apply your polish um, right now i'm just using one end of my horsehair brush to just evenly spread it all around and to speed up the process and then you know put some water on the tip of the shoe and i basically just go ahead and try to build up the wax at the tip so that i can shine it and try to get a mirror shine i really didn't get a mirror shine because i wasn't patient enough but i got the patina that i was gunning for and that was enough for me this is not a tutorial i just wanted to use this to inspire someone if you have the airbrush use it sparingly um, i guess what i've tried to get across in this video is mix your waxes i know quite a number of you who reach out to me privately saying that you're having problems with your waxes so my point is what i would recommend is mix them up right don't use it in concentrates um, mix it with some alcohol and some thinner don't be very easy on the thinner really don't use so much thinner um, lest you ruin your leather so like i said five parts of alcohol to one part of dye to just about one or two drops of thinner and you are good to go so as you can see i'm trying to build up the waxes at the tip so that i can get a mirror shine but i was too lazy to buff it to the point of a mirror shine but i got the patina that i was looking for and the leather on this pair of shoes looks like it has been very well taken care of um, so I'm going to be rocking this to the NBA conference in a few days time and um, Until I see you guys on the next video. God bless you. Do have a lovely weekend and a lovely time I hope to see you on the next one. Peace
He was terrific. He was the best. And he made a lot of money, too. Salute, Tommy. One more shine, Billy. 